Good afternoon and welcome to the Bernabeu. It's Real Madrid Barcelona, week 17 of the season, and it could be a very important day indeed because as you know Barcelona have got just a little bit of a lead at the top of the table well a little bit of the lead 11 points ahead of the men in white and they're looking to make that 14 this afternoon let's have a look at the Real Madrid lineup then Kalo Navas is in goal it's a back four of Carvajal Varane Sergio Ramos and Marcelo and further upfield in midfield a quartet of Kraus Kovacic Kasim Miro and Modric. Surprising lineup there. We'll go back to that later. And up front, no surprises there. Benzema and Cristiano Ronaldo leading the attack for Zidane. Zidane there, just a little handshake with Ernesto Valverde, the Barcelona manager. The referee for this game, the highly regarded Sanchez Martinez. He refereed here in the Super Cup in August, left some of the fans on the Barcelona side a little bit unhappy with the decision behind one of the goals. But uh, as I said, highly rated referee. I'm sure he'll do a fine job. Test Stegen in goal then for Barcelona. It's a back four of Sergio Roberto, Jordi Alba, Piquet and Vermelen. So a debut for the Belgian centre-half in the Bernabeu. Rakitic, Paulinho, Busquets and Iniesta in midfield. No surprises there. And indeed, no surprises further upfield with Luis Suarez and Leo Messi leading the Barcelona attack. The two captains there alongside the referee. Andres, happy feet, Iniesta for Barcelona and Sergio Ramos for Real Madrid. Real Madrid celebrating pre-game their latest trophy the world club championship which they picked up last weekend and that is one of the reasons Barcelona have an additional three points their game against Leganes obviously postponed while they were away picking up this trinket so Sergio Ramos there lifting up the cup offering it to the fans there was some talk during the week about a possible pa passage of honor what do you call that corridor of honor you know where they applaud the opposing team on to be yeah i think that we should employ that from rugby you know and have the uh, tunnel of honor after every game wouldn't that be tremendous but we're about to get underway real madrid in all white will attack from left to right barca though have the kickoff they will be playing right to left so Luis Suarez about to get us underway in the first real Clasico of the season we know we had the game in the States and the two Super Cup games um, but this is the one that could just decide the lead it's uh, Barcelona then with the initial possession Jordi Alba who will have plenty of work on his hands this afternoon it depends we were talking about this pre-game which set of fullbacks will be allowed to advance further upfield we shall see at the moment it's Jordi Alba playing the ball off to Vermelen a first touch here for Testegen on the sunny side of the pitch so Testegen might just have an issue uh, at the start of the game with the sun in his eyes we shall see if that is going to be a factor as he plays the ball forward headed on by Paulinho but it's picked up by Casemiro Casemiro plays it back to Navas Navas out to the wing out to Varane he gets the ball out it comes off a Barcelona play it'll be a throw in in favor of the home team now there's a quick throw down the wing it's Ronaldo Cristiano Ronaldo on the edge of the Barcelona area sets up possible shot there for Kraus he plays it out though to Carvajal Carvajal's ball is blocked it might spin off for the first corner of the game that's come off Jordi Alba, Jordi Alba and Carvajal exchanging uh, a few glares there, but it will be a first corner of the game in favour of Real Madrid. Right hand side as we look at goal, it'll be Kraus who will take it. The German midfielder Gerard Piquet and Sanchez Martinez having a word there. There's obviously some pushing and shoving as we await the corner. This will be an outswinger from Kraus. So it'll come in from the right hand side, lifted up to the six, headed on and in the net. It's offside, offside, offside against Ronaldo. 
Sergio Ramos flicking the ball on. Ronaldo was at the far post, headed it in past Ter Stegen. So two minutes gone, an early shot there for Barcelona. A little scared, but uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, no real argument. He was offside as uh, Carvajal loses the ball to Jordi Alba. It'll be a throw in in favor of FCB as we look again. Ball flicked on. It was Varane who got the initial flick on, not Ramos. Sent down. Ronaldo headed it away, but he was looking down the line. And uh, although he raised his arm towards the linesman, there were no real complaints there. He could see that uh, he was in an offside position. So Real Madrid then take up possession again with Sergio Ramos to Kraus on the left hand side of the Real Madrid attack or midfield rather now it's down the right with Carvajal playing it forward ball cut out by Jordi Alba Real Madrid regain possession with Casemiro playing it back to Keylor Navas interesting to see the Real Madrid fullbacks uh, uh, quite high up the field almost on the halfway line uh, and that's something that we normally see Barcelona doing Marcelo involved on the far side the ball goes back though to the center half so Sergio Ramos Ramos now combining with Varane. Varane one twos with Carvajal. Almost loses it, but uh, manages to avoid the challenge by Rakitic. Now the ball on the left hand side with Marcelo. Marcelo advancing, plays it out to Ronaldo. Ronaldo just outside the penalty area, looking to play it in. And the ball flicked away by Pique. It'll be a throw into Real Madrid in line with the penalty spot. So slightly brighter start by the home team so far Marcelo will take this throw in gets the ball back as well Marcelo then switches it into the middle of the field Carvajal fancies a shot long range but rather tame just bobbled into the arms of Ter Stegen and rolls it out to Jordi Alba, now Busquets gives it to Iniesta, Iniesta under pressure from Modric, too much pressure and uh, clips the back of his leg, free kick to Barcelona and Modric, the gentleman that he is, helps Andres, happy feet, Iniesta to his feet indeed. So uh, just looking at the goal again, Ronaldo will have no real complaints there and finished it well, headed it off the underside of the bar into the back of the net. But uh, offside was given quite rightly. The ball now with the German keeper, Testegen, as I said, in the sunny side of the pitch, plays the ball out to Sergi Roberto down the right hand side. Paulinho in a battle with fellow Brazilian Casemiro. Casemiro wins this one, and the ball with Casemiro just flicks it out to Marcelo. There's a heavy contingent of Brazilians isn't there on the field now Ronaldo tries to cut the ball back into the area comes off PK to Rakitic who gives it to Sergio Roberto forward now to Leo Messi first touches for the world number one as Roberto plays it straight into the body of Ramos and Real Madrid have it in the middle of the park with Carvajal not a good ball there but Modric brings it down well looks for Benzema and Busquets gets a foot in as he often does five and a half minutes gone it's Real Madrid nil Football Club Barcelona nil the ball inside the Barcelona penalty area with PK I'll mention it try not to mention it too many times but if you hear a lot of whistles that will be for Gerard Piquet. I was here in September when Spain beat Italy 3-0. I applauded every time Piquet touched the ball. So a lot of us did to try and counter the silly whistles. But uh, back to the action. Ter Stegen has the ball just alongside the penalty spot. Looking up for the best options. Plays it down the right-hand side towards Paulinho. Paulinho beaten to the ball by Ramos. Ramos flicks it forward. Well kept in by Marcelo. Marcelo inside to... Casemiro and the ball go back to the Real Madrid captain Ramos as Real Madrid triangle on the far side without advancing Kraus closed down ball one back by Messi now brought forward by Paulinho Casemiro goes to ground then looking for a free kick they're not getting it though when Real Madrid play the ball out to this side Carvajal is he nervous that was a poor header from the Real Madrid fullback he recovered well and Varane plays it off Iniesta for a throw in to Barcelona but two mistakes already from uh, Carvajal 
Well, I can see why Paulinho felt he should have had a free kick uh, a minute ago, and uh, Casemiro went to ground but didn't really make contact with the ball. It was more to do with Paulinho's legs. So, seven minutes gone, nil nil the scoreline. Real Madrid pinned back now. Real Madrid have lost possession. Suarez will play it into the area, but it's offside against Luis Suarez. Suarez has said something that uh, the referee Sanchez Martinez didn't like. And I like what Sanchez Martinez is doing here. He's already had words with uh, PK. Um, basically, he's saying he will not accept any um, comments or insults to the match officials. Uh, I think that's my interpretation of it. it I, to be fair to Luis Suarez, it was very tight. Um, you know, he could easily have not flagged that as offside. But uh, play continues. Real Madrid have the ball in the centre of the park with Modric. Modric has Marcelo outside him, plays it forward to Ronaldo. Ronaldo drops off from Marcelo. The ball just cut out midfield by Sergio Roberto. Roberto gives it to Piquet. Piquet's ball is cut out, but Piquet is impeded, and it's a free kick against a rather upset Cristiano Ronaldo. It'll be taken by Busquets, forward to Leo Messi, Messi to Rakitic, and back to Busquets. Busquets plays it out to Thomas Bermelen. Now it's Jordi Alba. Inside the Real Madrid half is Alba. Alba plays it into the centre. Paulinho, Paulinho back to Busquets. They'll start again with Vermelen. Out to Jordi Alba, just on this halfway line. Inside to Iniesta. Iniesta to Busquets, a little bit of space outside him for Piquet, but he plays it into the middle, comes back to him from Rakitic. Busquets then stepping up to the halfway line. Messi back, it goes to Vermelen. Patient play here from Barca. Oh, and Vermelen's pass was uh, wayward, so Carvajal plays it forward to Benzema. Benzema out to Casemiro. Casemiro, Marcelo. Marcelo to Ronaldo. Heavily guarded, so he'll play back to the fullback. Now Casemiro picks it up, gives it to Modric. Modric has Carvajal making the overlap on the right. Carvajal receives, lays it back inside. Another poor pass from Carvajal. Don't want to be picking on the poor boy, but three so far as um, Kovacic recovered it. Gives it to Modric. Now Carvajal, good pass there to Kovacic. Plays it back to Modric. Modric to Carvajal. Kovacic will give it to Casemiro. Varane now stepping forward with the ball out to the left hand side to Marcelo. Marcelo's got the overlap there. Kraus will play it into Ronaldo. Oh, he's missed it. And Jordi Alba is there. Has Alba been fouled by Carvajal? Alba has gone down and stayed down. Is it Jordi Alba? Sorry, it's not Jordi Alba, is it? It's, um, let's have another look. It is Andres Iniesta who cleared the danger, but he got caught by Carvalho. Um, Ronaldo totally missing the shot. He was set up by Kraus and just totally fluffed it. So he won't be happy with that. Ten minutes gone. It's nil-nil in the Bernabeu, but we've got uh, a terrible image in front of us. Andres Iniesta has stayed down and he's holding his right ankle. Now, as he cleared the ball, he doesn't look happy. Andres Iniesta does not look happy at all. And uh, he's not allowing the physio to grab hold of his ankle. He's pulling his hand away as if to say there's something serious there. Now, did Carvajal have the opportunity to pull out of that challenge? Um, he's gone in heavy and that could be not only bad news for Barcelona but Spain as well well he's on his feet but he does not look comfortable obviously there's no break um, he's walking um, but he looked very that must have been painful so Barca down to 10 the corner comes in headed away by Piquet and uh, having a look at Iniesta here he's trotting so whew, he should be okay then as the ball played into the Barcelona area. It might just be kept in on the far side by Varane. He does well to do so. Plays her into the area, headed away by Jordi Alba. Modric 
uh, picks it up though for Real Madrid, plays it out to Carvajal. Carvajal into the box, high ball. Ronaldo was there, little push. Well spotted, referee. Ronaldo pushed Sergio Roberto past interference by the offensive player there. And uh, Sanchez Martinez so far having a tremendous game, got the offside with the help of the linesman and spotted the push. Almost like a referee that spots the push in the back because uh, it's, it's not always the easiest thing to see. As Andres Iniesta is back on the field, so power play moment is over. It's 11 men Real Madrid against 11 men Barcelona. Pique wants an offside against Ronaldo and he gets it. Referee waiting for Ronaldo to make contact with the ball and uh, the whistle went. So it's a free kick to Barca. Ronaldo just too slow there getting back. And uh, once again, I don't think he can really be complaining. So he is, though. <laughs> he was complaining to the linesman. I don't get it. He was uh, clearly coming from an offside position. As uh, Barcelona have the ball there with Rakitic. Rakitic plays it out to Vermeulen, Vermeulen with Jordi Alba, inside to Busquets, back to Rakitic, who's sitting there in the middle of the two centre-halves, plays it forward to Paulinho, Paulinho um, loses possession in a triangle of white shirts, Marcelo plays it down the left-hand side to Ronaldo, Ronaldo brings it down under pressure from Piquet, gets the ball off to Rakitic, Ronaldo felt he was being held, nothing doing, says the referee, Paulinho has the ball, Gets it back to Busquets. Oh, that's not a good pass from Busquets. It goes straight out of play for a throw into Real Madrid on the halfway line. Well, I can see Ronaldo's problem there. PK was uh, grabbing hold of his shirt. It's rather too early to be doing that. As um, by that I meant you should wait till after the game to exchange shirts. As uh, the ball goes out of play for a goal kick to Barcelona. It was a long ball forward. Modric was asked to chase, but no chance of getting there. So goal kick will be taken by the dependable Ter Stegen. Long ball forward, picked up at the other end by Varane. Back to Keylor Navas. Navas out to Carvajal. Inside to Modric, gives it to Kovacic, and they'll go back to Casemiro. Carvajal once more in possession for Real Madrid. Inside to Casemiro, under a little bit of pressure there from Luis Suarez. Still gets the ball out to Kraus, who will play it forward to Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Marcelo. Marcelo back into Ronaldo. He's outside the penalty area. Still plays it to Benzema. Benzema looking to set up Carvajal, and that was picked off. Important interception there by Wimelem. And uh, Real Madrid, after 15 minutes, would feel they've had slightly more in terms of attacking intent. It's 0 0 in the Bernabeu. Rakitic plays it forward to Leo Messi. Messi picks up the ball on the halfway line. Little foot in, but the ball goes out to Iniesta. Iniesta will return the ball to Leo Messi. Messi has Jordi Alba to his left. Inside, the ball goes to Iniesta. Iniesta now to Jordi Alba. Barcelona have slowed the ball down here. Now Iniesta plays it forward to... He goes out for a goal kick, but uh, Messi was the target man for Iniesta's flicked pass over the top there. As we get to see the offside against Luis Suarez earlier on, and um, technology proves that he wasn't offside. As Kovacic plays it back to Sergio Ramos. Ramos will give it to Kraus. Kraus out to Marcelo. Marcelo back into his captain. Sergio Ramos now with a cross-field ball. Out to Carvajal. Carvajal will drop it off for Modric. Modric to Benzema. Now it's once more Carvajal. Ronaldo is offside. The ball cannot go to him. He'll have to go back to Modric. Modric now gives it to Ronaldo on the right-hand side. Ronaldo loses it to Busquets, goes down, gets a free kick just on the halfway line. The ball with Modric. Back to Kovacic, Kovacic to Veron. Now Ramos brings in Kraus. 
it to Marcelo. Forward ball there and uh, headed away by Vermelen. The home fans wanted a free kick, but Barcelona bringing forward with Rakitic halfway inside the Real Madrid half. Drops the ball off for Leo Messi. Messi out to the edge of the area. Luis Suarez. Suarez flicks it through. Paulinho with the cutback. And Varane is there to make sure the ball doesn't reach Rakitic. Kraus will bring it forward now for Real Madrid to Casemiro. Casemiro cuts inside, returns it to the German midfielder who's advancing on the penalty area. Benzema tries to play the 1 2, doesn't come off, and Barca have it with Andres Iniesta. Iniesta forward to Rakitic. Rakitic out to Paulinho. Paulinho gives the ball to Messi, gets the ball back, returns it to Leo Messi, and they're just playing the ball back and forth there, asking Real Madrid to come get it. As Messi in possession now, plays it inside. Look, one two with Suarez. Busquets, though, gives the ball away to Modric. Modric will go around Vermelen. Vermelen will bring him down. And it'll be a first yellow card of the game. Just 18 minutes gone. And Vermelen has been penalised there. The only player who would miss the next game for Barcelona, by the way, is Busquets. He's one card away from a suspension. And I can see Sanchez Martinez criteria there. Vermelen not really interested in the ball, brings down Modric, but it was from some distance out. It wasn't, uh, a, uh, potentially it was a dangerous attack, but uh, still in its early stages, and uh, certainly it's not shooting distance, unless you're Dimitri Payet. The Payet, of course, of last season, not the Payet who's returned to France now. We haven't really heard much about him. Kraus then with the free kick. He'll play it to the edge of the area. Does so. An easy one for Busquets to chest away to Paulinho. Paulinho is brought to the ground by Sergio Ramos. And uh, well, I've seen yellow cards given for that, for stopping a potential counter-attack. And I think Ramos lucky not to... Uh, Get a yellow there, maybe. Certainly, Sanchez Martinez would have put that in the data bank. So, Jordi Alba has the ball now for Barcelona. Plays it inside to Busquets. Busquets out to the far side where waits Sergio Roberto. Roberto plays it forward to Paulinho. Paulinho under a little bit of pressure from Casemiro. Runs the ball out of play. It'll be a Real Madrid throw in halfway inside their own half. Big game for Zidane, he knows it. He's trying to play it down a little bit, but uh, really is a game that they must win. Marcelo, crossfield ball, one for Carvajal to chase. Jordi Alba's got a touch on it, and he's going to play it back to Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen, great ball out to Iniesta, who flicks it down the wing. It was a good attempt by Iniesta, but the ball goes out of play for a throw in. 20 minutes gone in the Bernabeu. It's Real Madrid nil, Barcelona nil. It's an important top of the table clash. Even a draw wouldn't be a bad result for Barcelona, maintaining the 11 point gap. As Real Madrid have inside the penalty area here with Ronaldo. Ronaldo on the edge of the six. He had plenty of options to pass that ball, but went for goal and uh, the angle wasn't there. And it comes out now with Paulinho. Paulinho goes down under the challenge of Casemiro and it'll be a free kick. Ronaldo ruse the missed opportunity there. Paulinho feeling that fellow Brazilian Casemiro could have got a yellow for that challenge. Play continues though with Jordi Alba looking for Luis Suarez. The ball played out by Varane. It'll be a throw in to FCB. Suarez just leaving the ball for Jordi Alba as they attack the goal of the white shirted fans of Real Madrid. All bottom section, the fan section behind the goal to our left. Because we're they all wear white shirts. I wonder how that works. Do they get them as part of the ticket or do they all just agree? Hold on a minute as Barcelona have tried to break into the Real Madrid penalty area. Almost did as Benzema almost then loses the ball to Busquets. Kovacic picks it up though for the men in white. Back to Ramos. Sergio Ramos will play it forward to Modric. 
Marcelo in space behind Sergio Roberto receives. Marcelo on the ball now. He's got support outside from Kraus. Plays it to him. PK gets in and a good slide in challenge from the Barcelona centre half. And the ball comes off Kraus for a goal kick to FCB almost halfway through the first half. Lovely sunny afternoon in Madrid. Really, as I said before the game, this is a reminder of why so many of us enjoy living in Spain. It's not so much the hot summers, it's the warm winters <laughs> that you enjoy. And let's stop with the weather forecast. Back to the action. Real Madrid trying to clear the ball away from the edge of the area. Give it away. Leo Messi has it. Outside him is Paulinho. Paulinho will play it back to Leo Messi. Messi under pressure, but it's a corner to Barcelona. Casemiro having to play it out. Barca's first corner of the game on the right-hand side as we look at goal. Opportunity here maybe for a first test of Keylor Navas. Navas, of course, always questioned. Always rumours about a new goalkeeper. Messi plays corner in, headed away by Ronaldo. It should be kept in on this near side by Rakitic. Rakitic plays the ball in, it's flicked on by Suarez, headed away, but Barca pick it up with Busquets. Busquets will play it back towards the Barcelona half. Jordi Alba picks up for FCB, inside to Iniesta, inside the centre circle. Andres Iniesta seems to have recovered from the foot of Carvajal. Plays it out to Jordi Alba, back inside to Happy Feet. Iniesta then to Leo Messi. Messi returns the ball to Iniesta. Messi once more to Vermelem. Forward to Jordi Alba. Alba under pressure from Carvajal. Returns it to the Belgian centre half. He won twos with Busquets. And now the ball back to Testegen. Testegen shielding his eyes as is Gerard Piquet. As I said, the sun affecting the Penalty area of Barcelona as Messi one twos with Suarez, plays it back to Suarez. Carvajal is there first, clever by Carvajal there. He passed the ball or took the ball away and then bumped over Suarez, but not enough for it to be a free kick. As Carvajal switches play to Marcelo, Marcelo inside to Kovacic, good pass by Kovacic to Kraus, Kraus out to Carvajal on the right hand side, plays it inside. Gets the return ball, Modric from Kovacic. Now Ronaldo dropping the ball off for Kraus. A lot more balls going down to Carvajal than Marcelo so far. Carvajal now playing it forward to Modric. Modric has Iniesta to beat, but he still he plays it to Kovacic. Kovacic will cut this back in, and it's headed away for a corner. A third corner for Real Madrid. Might have come off the nose of Emelin there. It seems to be a little bit uncomfortable. As we look again at uh, Luis Suarez being bumped to the ground by Carvajal. Corner then on the right-hand side. Kraus to take. 25 minutes gone in sunny Madrid. Real Madrid nil, Barca nil. Ball comes in, headed away by Piquet. And there's some pushing and shoving, penalised by the referee Sergio Ramos or Varane, I think. Uh, the culprit's there. And it'll be a Barca free kick. Well, it's difficult to work out who's pushing who. Was it Sergio Ramos on Vermelen, maybe? Six free kicks conceded so far by Real Madrid, just two by FC Barcelona. It's a long ball forward, picked up by Navas. Navas rolls in out to Carvajal. Inside now to Casemiro. Ramos out to Kraus. Outside to Marcelo. Marcelo plays it forward to Modric. Ronaldo. Steps back, he's not offside, plays it forward to Benzema, but overhits the ball. And it's an easy pick-up for Testag, and neither goalkeeper has had anything to do so far. Tense game in the Bernabeu, Sergio Roberto plays it back to Piquet. Piquet swivels, has Ronaldo in front of him, lifts it up. 
It's chested down by Ramos. Ramos under pressure from Iniesta. Plays it back. Have the ball gone out of play. Navas though will play it forward. It does now. It'll be a throw in to FCB on the far side. Sergio Roberto to Paulinho. Paulinho in a battle with Marcelo. Loses the ball. Now Casemiro to Modric. Back to Casemiro. Carvajal in possession for Real Madrid. Side to Casemiro. Real Madrid patient themselves here with Kovacic. Just skipping around Busquets. Kovacic still advancing. Outside him is Marcelo. Marcelo with a chance to play the ball into the box. Headed away by Piquet. Marcelo picks up again though for Real Madrid. Now plays it in again. Headed away by Piquet. As Modric wins a... a battle there in the middle of the field with Paulinho oh dear me that's a high foot from Modric now he's landed on his back and come off the worst but almost kicking Iniesta in the head there and, uh, and again a lovely exchange of uh, apology given and accepted between Modric and Iniesta no damage done and the free kick taken really is a wonderful stadium if you ever get a chance to come to the Bernabeu you should take it it's a it's the way it's built it's built up so it, it's it's got steep seating arrangement and that means that the the fans are more on top of the game in than in some stadiums certainly more than in West Ham's Olympic Stadium in London for example which is a bit of a disaster as a free kick given in the middle of the field this time Ramos on Paulinho, it'll be taken by the world's number one, Leo Messi. Messi to Rakitic, out to Sergio Roberto, back to Rakitic, who steps inside, gives the ball to Busquets, Busquets to Messi. Messi twists, turns, gets away from Kovacic. Kovacic with a little sliding challenge with the ball goes to Roberto, Sergio Roberto then for SCB. Back to Rakitic, inside now to Gerard Piquet. Piquet steps forward into the Real Madrid half, gives the ball to Luis Suarez. Piquet continues his run towards the area, but the ball goes back to Sergio Roberto. Roberto, Messi. Messi flicks it over, looking for Paulinho. Paulinho over the crossbar. And it's a corner. There was a touch on it, but Paulinho, what a pass from Leo Messi over the top of the defence. Paulinho got there first. And let's have a look. It really was great vision. Great run by Paulinho. Well spotted by Leo Messi. And uh, th there was a touch on it from Navas, which means Barcelona get their second corner. And that's the first real opportunity of the game. Well saved by Navas. Corner from Rakitic. Comes in. Piquet heads it against the back of Paulinho. Piquet the wins the ball back. Goes down. Looking for a penalty. Nothing doing. And Marcelo will bring it forward. Jordi Alba is there to block his progress. The ball goes in to Casemiro. Now Kraus wants a runner. Doesn't get one. So has to play it short to Kovacic. He gives it to Modric. Ramos back to Marcelo, out to Sergio Ramos. Ramos to Varane, and Varane play back to his goalkeeper. 30 minutes gone in the Bernabeu, it's still Real Madrid nil. Barcelona nil, but the best opportunity of the game, Paulinho's shot just flicked over the top by Navas as Marcelo plays the ball out to the left to Ronaldo. Ronaldo advances inside the Barcelona penalty area. Ronaldo shoots and it's off to Stegen's leg for a corner. Ronaldo then replies immediately for Real Madrid. And that's the closest they've come. Cut in a few swivels and uh, the ball coming off Ter Stegen's leg. Might have been goal bound. Certainly Ter Stegen couldn't take any chances. So it'll be a corner for Real Madrid. On the right hand side as we look at goal. Klaus plays it in the header from Ronaldo, but way over the crossbar. So two real opportunities in the space of two minutes, one for either team. As we have a look, was PK brought down? Well, certainly Carvajal made contact. 
was it enough for PK to go down? I've got the feeling the referee felt that the contact and the way PK down, went down weren't as related as uh, he would have liked. So that said, it depends what shirt you're wearing. If you're wearing a red and blue shirt, that was uh, a possible penalty. Barcelona have the ball forward now with Paulinho. Tries to get it out to Luis Suarez. Varane momentarily won it, but it's in Yester now to Suarez. Suarez back to Vermelen. Alongside him. There you go, the whistles have started. Gerard Piquet will return the ball to the Belgian. Now Jordi Alba. Alba back to Vermelen. Inside to Ter Stegen. Plays it out to the right to Sergio Roberto. Roberto forward to Rakitic. Rakitic impeded by Kraus, who will play it back to his goalkeeper. Now, Kilo Navas. To Rafael Varan. The elegant Real Madrid centre half. Flicks the ball forward, looking for Benzema. Vermelen will get there first, and it'll be a throw in in line with Ernesto Valverde inside the Barcelona half. Carvajal will take. Over the top. Flicked away by Rakitic. Picked up by Leo Messi. Messi on the ball now. Outstanding pass by Messi just moments ago to Paulinho. Almost led to the opening goal. Piquet bringing the ball forward. Gives it to Luis Suarez. Back to Sergio Roberto. Piquet reluctantly goes back towards his own half as uh, Messi... This ball is picked off by Benzema. Benzema back to Modric. Ronaldo makes the run over the side here. Now Ronaldo's not offside. Chance to play it into the box. Benzema and it's flicked away. Is that a corner or a goal kick? Well, it's a goal kick, much to the annoyance of uh, the Real Madrid fans behind the goal. But let's have a look. It was flicked into the box by Ronaldo. Benzema and Piquet going for the ball. Not offside, no claim either. Piquet was looking down the line. Ronaldo made him run down the right hand side, played it in. And I'm not sure whether that should have been a corner, maybe. Although Benzema looks. Ah, he's not complaining too much. He might just have had the last touch off the back of uh, Benzema. Really was a tremendous save by Kaylor Navas. Paulino's shot was goal bound looks like it looked like he was just going to go under the crossbar where the costa rican international flicked it over back to the action carvajal has the ball for real madrid out to ronaldo inside to modric he'll play it back into the real madrid half veran to kraus out to marcelo marcelo to kraus Go back to Modric and Casemiro as they're dispossessed by Paulinho. Luis Suarez bringing the ball forward. Luis Suarez almost bursting into the area, but uh, the ball just running away from the Uruguayan. And Real Madrid have it with Modric. Played it forward, cut out by Piquet. Busquets knees it forward, but uh, it's recovered by Ronaldo. Back to Veran, Veran inside for Kovacic. Ronaldo cut the ball out. There was a good run by Kraus. He hadn't spotted, but Real Madrid have it with Marcelo. Marcelo into Kraus. Drops the ball off for Kovacic. Back to Marcelo. Real Madrid have players forward waiting. Kovacic. Marcelo makes the run over the top. Marcelo bursts into the area, tries to get it back to Ronaldo. Piquet does enough to put him off, though. And Barca bring it out with Busquets. Busquets flicks it over to Andres Iniesta. And to Jordi Alba. Oh, lovely flip by Alba to Iniesta. Iniesta's pass is read, though, by Veran, who plays it forward. The ball met by Ter Stegen just outside his penalty area into the last 10 minutes. It's Real Madrid nil. Football club Barcelona nil. Real Madrid had a goal disallowed quite rightly for offside. Paulinho 
had a wonderful shot on goal, tipped over the top by Navas, the two main events of the first half. PK on the ball then for FCB. Down the right hand side, it goes to Sergio Roberto, brings it down well. Marcelo's gone to ground, play continues, and Roberto's ball, not a good one, straight into the hands of Kalon Navas. Marcelo is still down. Bumped into Sergio Roberto, or vice versa, and uh, Sergio Roberto going over just to check on the Brazilian. I can see the complaint there. The Marcelo basically ran into the elbow of Sergio Roberto. Lovely flick just now from Jordi Alba to Iniesta. Now, I'm not a big fan of flicks, but when they work, it's a beautiful weapon to be used, isn't it? It's just sometimes you get the feeling that uh, players over flick. Wonderful skill by Leo Messi just moments ago as he flicked the ball over the head of Casemiro and picked it up on the other side. In Spanish, I think they call that making the shadow of a player, but uh, in English, we, we just don't do it, do we, in, in Britain? Hey, back to the action. It's Varane on the ball on the edge of his penalty area. Gives it to Ramos. Ramos out to Marcelo. Looking for the ball forward. Should be cut out by Vermelen. It is. Good header away by the Belgian to Busquets. And uh, Busquets tries to give it to Piquet. Ball comes off a white shirted player. It'll be a throw in to FCB. Sergio Roberto gives it to Busquets. Roberto receives back. Turns away from Marcelo. Good play by Sergio Roberto. Off to Iniesta. Iniesta to Jordi Alba. Barca advancing now. Alba. Outside the penalty area, drops the ball off for Leo Messi. Messi has support here from Iniesta. Modric slides in. Iniesta comes away with the ball. Gives it to Alba, to Messi. Messi looking to get to the byline. Plays it in. Paulinho and Navas saves another attempt by the Brazilian midfielder. It'll be a corner to Barcelona. Messi with a fine cutback and a second opportunity for Paulinho to open the scoring it was a good header and a good reaction from Keylor Navas he had to step back and meet the ball and pushes it away for a corner left hand side as we look at goal for FCB so the corner will be taken by Rakitic plays it in headed on and away to Iniesta who gives it to Messi, Messi under pressure from Kovacic, still Leo Messi on the edge of the penalty area, plenty of defenders but also plenty of Barca players wait in the box, Luis Suarez gets it, he's got a chance to play it in and headed away, no, flicked away there by Casemiro, Pique was waiting behind him as now Real Madrid launched the counter, it's Ronaldo storming down the left hand side, not a lot of support there is now from Benzema, Benzema muffs it but uh, the rebound falls to Kraus to Modric now out to Carvajal Carvajal plays it into the area the ball flicked away by Piquet but Marcelo will keep it in there's still players waiting in the middle Marcelo then what will he do with it he's got Busquets on top of him and Paulinho wisely gives it to Kraus Kraus out to Carvajal inside the Barcelona penalty area Carvajal flicks it in headed away by Vermelen picked up and given to Modric, Modric shoots wide of the goal and we're into the last five minutes, Real Madrid nil, Barcelona nil, week 17, Jordi Alba has gone to ground now, Sanchez Martinez had a good first half the referee, um, as I said too many commentators, too many people tend to complain and look for mistakes by the referee but I think Sanchez Martinez Good first half from the man in yellow. You can see why he's so highly rated by FIFA. So we're just waiting for Jordi Albert to recover. Just seems to have been winded. There'll be a goal kick to Barcelona. Real Madrid have had six shots on goal. Barca three, but uh, two were on target from Barca, two from Real Madrid, but uh, Barca have come closer to scoring. Real Madrid have had more of the attacks, more of the possession, but Barca have probably been the closer to breaking the deadlock as uh, Sergio Roberto wins the ball off Marcelo, gives it to Paulinho. Paulinho 
has the offer of Sergio Roberto, but it's well read by Ramos. Ramos flicks it over to Marcelo. Marcelo on the wing then plays the ball in. Benzema with the header off the post, I think. Wide of the goal, but may have come off the outside of the post. Real effort there from Karim Benzema, level 42 on the clock. Let's have another look as Marcelo played it in. Benzema got there and it was off the post for Real Madrid. Ter Stegen on the ball then. That's given uh, a little bit more voice to the Real Madrid fans as Ter Stegen plays it towards Paulinho. Paulinho flicked it on. Carvajal was there ahead of Jordi Alba. As Carvajal plays it out to Ronaldo, continues his run. Space here for Carvajal, advancing on the Barca area. Plays it into the box, but straight to Andres Iniesta. Carvajal will make sure the ball goes out for a throw-in to the men in white. Gives it to Modric, but Iniesta picked it off almost. Recovered by Casemiro. And now Real Madrid have it on the halfway line with Ramos. Ramos out to the unmistakable figure of Marcelo. Marcelo one twos with Benzema, and then his pass is picked up by Sergi Roberto. Having a good game is Roberto. Oh, and that was an interesting ball forward. That was cut out now. Ronaldo, well, unfortunately for Real Madrid, a little bit slow to react there. Ronaldo offside, otherwise Real Madrid would have had a counter-attack of their own. As we look again at the latest opportunity, Benzema's ball off the outside of Ter Stegen's post. Well, it's been an interesting first half. And the goal opportunities have started to appear. It's been a long time since we had a nil-nil in El Clasico. And I don't think we're going to have one this afternoon. Although we are just over a minute or so away from half-time. PK on the ball inside to Busquets. Busquets to Iniesta. That ball will go back to Vermelen. Forward now to Paulinho. Out to Jordi Alba. Alba plays into Busquets, gives it to Luis Suarez. Suarez ball to Messi. It wasn't the best of balls. Messi got the ball back, but Kovacic did enough to put him off. And now a long ball forward by Real Madrid straight to Ter Stegen. He'll give it to Roberto. Roberto combining with Rakitic. Rakitic inside to Andres Iniesta. Iniesta twisting, turning, moving forward away from Modric, holding him off. As Jordi Alba outside. Alba on the ball now. Plays it to Leo Messi. Messi back to goal. Being hounded by Kovacic. Gives the ball to Sergi Roberto. Roberto. Messi once more, oh, he's brought down by Marcelo, it'll be a free kick. Uh, Busquets wanting a yellow card, but certainly it's an interesting free kick position for Barcelona. Messi brought down then, it's uh, about 25 out, a little bit more maybe, on the right-hand side of the goal. So it's pretty much... Leo Messi territory, this free kick. What can Leo Messi create here? 45 minutes are up. We're a half a minute into the minute added on. It's actually 31 metres out, but this really is going to be an opportunity here for Leo Messi. What a time to score it would be. Leo Messi with a free kick. 30 metres out, 31 on the right hand side just where he would want it is he going to go top right top left bottom right bottom left we shall see then free kick for barcelona leo messi steps up hits it against the wall and he'll go out for a throw in but there'll be no more play in this first half there is the halftime whistle from sanchez martinez so an interesting first half both teams have come close to scoring a fine save by Keylor Navas, two saves by Navas from Paulinho, and a post from Benzema, the best opportunities for either team. I hope you'll be back with us in the second half. It should be a fascinating second half in the biggest game in the world. We'll be back then. That's all for now, folks. Ah. 
Welcome back to the second half in the Bernabeu. It's a half-time scoreline of Real Madrid nil, Barcelona nil. Chances for both teams in the first half. Ronaldo scored a goal that was offside. Uh, Benzema came off the outside of the post with his header. And uh, Paulinho, the two best chances for Barcelona. Both saved by Keylo Navas. Particularly good save from the shot that was just tipped over the crossbar after a wonderful pass from uh, Leo Messi. Just looking to see if there are any changes. The referee this afternoon have to be... You know I like the men in yellow. Jose Maria Sanchez Martinez had a good first half, I think. One yellow card to Vermelen and... Um, it's been a pretty sporting game. One or two challenges you might uh, question. And we'll, we'll, go, we'll go into those, will we? We don't want a good point in the finger at Carvajal, for example. We, we won't do that. No, 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 no. Uh, anyway, uh, Real Madrid will attack the goal to our left. They'll get us underway. Barcelona, in their classic red and blue, will attack the goal to our right. The, the action has started. It's Real Madrid, then, with the first possession of the second half let's have a look no changes so real madrid line up with Keylor navis in goal a back four of carvajal varan ramos and marcelo ahead of them modric casemiro kovacic and cross and the two forwards being cristiano ronaldo benzema and similar lineup to barcelona's in a way a strong midfield barca with um, testegan in goal uh, sergio roberto pique Vermelen and Jordi Alba at the back of midfield quartet of Iniesta, Busquets, Rakitic and Paulinho, Luis Suarez and the world's number one Leo Messi up front for Barca. It's Real Madrid then in possession with Modric. He flicks the ball outside to Carvajal. Carvajal turns, gives it back to the Croatian midfielder who looks for the run from Benzema, changes his mind, gives it to Marcelo on the left-hand side. Marcelo, outside of his boot, flicks it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo being marshalled by Gerard Piquet. A few little step-overs from Ronaldo. He's got on the edge of the area, shoots it, comes off Roberto, I thought. Well, then, um, goal kick, uh, says uh, Sanchez Martin. I have to admit, I thought uh, the ball did come off Roberto. Let's have another look at that one, maybe. Uh, Ronaldo shoots. The referee was in the way of our camera angle, but uh, Roberto's body, yes, that was a corner. And uh, I think Sanchez Martinez simply couldn't see it. He was behind Ronaldo, so the ball goes forward. Paulinho loses out to a trio of white shirts. Kraus plays it inside to Casemiro. Casemiro turns away from Rakitic, goes to ground. And he'll be a free kick. Rakitic is not in agreement. Sanchez Martinez once again calls his attention. Let's have a look. Casemiro with the ball. Well, yes, I can see why Rakitic is not happy there. I'm looking back at the possible corner. It's not so clear that it came off Roberto. So um, take uh, that one as a doubtful one as uh, ooh, Kalo Navas has given the ball straight to Iniesta. Iniesta to Busquets. Busquets flicks it to the edge of the area. Luis Suarez has the ball. Once again, Andres Iniesta. Iniesta has options there. Gives it to Suarez. Suarez goes in towards goal and uh, out comes Kalo Navas and Suarez sportingly jumping over the Costa Rican keeper to make sure there was no contact. As Navas rolls the ball out to Varane. Varane will play it forward to Benzema. Benzema is uh, tightly marked by Vermelen. Still gets the ball off to Carvajal. Back to the French forward. Carvajal once more will play it into Modric. Modric, Casemiro. Casemiro almost loses the ball to Leo Messi. Oh, and uh, the ball has given away, been given away by Ramos. This is Paulinho. Paulinho drops the ball off for Sergio Roberto. Roberto back into his own half where waits Gerard Piquet. Piquet moving the ball forward now. Piquet to Rakitic. Back to Roberto. Roberto one twos with Paulinho. And the whistle start again because Piquet has the ball to Rakitic. Rakitic steps inside Kraus, gives it to Busquets. 
Bruce Kent has Andres Iniesta alongside him. Ball out to Jordi Alba. Alba back to Iniesta. Once more it's Alba. Alba gives it to Suarez. Run by Paulinho, but Suarez gives it to Rakitic. Out to Sergio Roberto. Just advancing there with Marcelo blocking his way. Gives it to Rakitic. Rakitic looking to feed Suarez. Suarez into the area. And it's flicked away by Modric. Headed on by Ronaldo, but it only goes to Sergi Roberto. Neither manager has used the bench yet. Well, Real Madrid would appear to have the more menacing bench with the figures of Bale, Asensio and Isco amongst the players sitting there. PK then out to the right-hand side. Sergio Roberto drops off from Rakitic. Rakitic back to Gerard Piquet inside the Real Madrid line. Half. Everybody is except Ter Stegen and Vermelen. Now Busquets will give it to Rakitic. And to Sergio Roberto. Back. Oh dear me, that's not a good ball. And uh, Piquet recovers well. Ronaldo nearly snapped up the loose ball there. Busquets forward to Paulinho. And to Andres Iniesta. Iniesta one twos with the Brazilian midfielder. Now plays inside to Jordi Alba. Alba turns, has space ahead of him here. Gives it to Paulinho. And Iniesta picks up for Barcelona. Five minutes into the second half. It's Real Madrid nil, Barcelona nil. Benzema wins the ball for Real Madrid, loses it to Jordi Alba. Busquets to Paulinho. Paulinho to Suarez. Suarez looks for the return ball. It's not a good one though, and Ramos picks it off. Carvajal now into the midfield area. It's met by Busquets, who heads into Jordi Alba. Back to Busquets. Alba forward to Suarez. Gets a little nibble from Varane. It's Busquets who picks it up in midfield. He loses it and uh, Barca continue in possession with Busquets. Casemiro wins it back. Benzema. It's all very messy in the middle of the field there. And there was an initial advantage with Casemiro. Carvajal tells tales there and so he's gone up to referee. Look, look, ref, he's kicked the ball away. Um, and the referee not impressed. I am, though. I'm impressed with Sanchez Martinez so far. It's a very sunny afternoon, as I said. Now it's uh, Keylor Navas has the problem of the sun in his eyes. As Barca attacked the goal to her left, the ball repelled and Busquets and Iniesta flick it forward. Iniesta tries his little drag back, doesn't work, but Barca have the ball with Leo Messi to Rakitic, to Jordi Alba, forward to Busquets. Very tight, uh, most of the players in the middle third of the field here. PK then to Paulinho. Paulinho steps forward, loses it. And a poor ball from Kraus there. Because Ronaldo had made a good run. Barca have it though in midfield with Rakitic to Busquets. Out to Leo Messi. Messi steps inside the challenge from Benzema. Gives it to Andres Iniesta. Iniesta has Jordi Alba to his left, makes the run, great ball in. Alba gets on the end of it, plays it to Suarez, and the save from Navas. Lovely run by Alba, well spotted by Iniesta, and the cutback was for Luis Suarez, whose shot was saved by Navas. There's the free kick on the edge of the Real Madrid area for the foul by Paulinho on Kovacic. Play continues with Real Madrid moving down the left. Marcelo into the middle. Casemiro will give it to Benzema, who waits for support now from, of course, on the right. Carvajal, then Modric. Carvajal. Now to the left hand side, the run by. Benzema is spotted by Sergi Roberto to Iniesta into Busquets. Busquets with his little crack back, does it again. Twisting, turning. Good ball by Busquets to Rakitic. Rakitic moving down the middle. Suarez to his left, Sergio Roberto to his right. Roberto looking for Suarez, it's in the net! Suarez has opened the scoring. 
Wonderful move, Rakitic, Roberto, and Luis Suarez with the finish. Luis Suarez with his 10th goal of the season. Eight minutes into the second half, Barcelona take the lead, and the Barca traveling fans celebrate as Luis Suarez it finds the back of the net once again. Four goals in three games now for the Uruguayan. Rakitic had a lot to do with this goal, moving down the middle, out to Sergio Roberto. Nobody picking up Luis Suarez, and Carvajal has to take some of the blame here. The play started with Rakitic moving forward. Varan and Ramos more involved with closing down Rakitic. And Luis Suarez, totally unmarked, good right-footed finish along the ground. And Keylor Navas, who stopped Suarez just minutes ago, was unable to get to ground quickly enough. So coming up to 10 minutes into the second half, Real Madrid nil, Barcelona won 14 points, the lead. But there's still plenty of time to go. I imagine Zidane will be interested in moving the bench now. He has Lucas Vazquez, Asensio, Isco, Bale, lots of attacking options on that bench. So we shall see Barcelona with Digne, Gomez, Semedo, Machelano, Vidal, Dennis, and the reserve keeper, Silasen. It's Barca then who have taken the lead looking for a third consecutive year of wins in the Bernabeu. Real Madrid needs to strike back quickly. Marcelo plays it into the box. Benzema unable to get there. Jordi Alba headed it away. And the last touch of Modric means it'll be a throw in. Oh dear me, and Casemiro and Suarez have clashed there. Luis Suarez started it, Casemiro finished it. Well, in theory, play has to continue. Luis Suarez is off the pitch. Basically, the ball was going out of play. Luis Suarez, I feel, unnecessarily shouldered Casemiro. And Casemiro caught him with a boot that could have been avoided, maybe. Luis Suarez complaining, play continues. No real damage done, it would appear, but uh, obviously tension rising in the Bernabeu. Marcelo on the ball, forward to Benzema, into the box, but straight to Busquets. Busquets to Rakitic. Rakitic, long ball forward, headed away by Varane. Ramos picks it up for Real Madrid. Inside to Kovacic, who goes down under the challenge of Busquets. Ball recovered by Barca. Leo Messi storming forward. Ramos on top of him, outside him, Luis Suarez, Suarez on the edge of the six, into the side netting from the Uruguayan. Well, the temperature rising in the Bernabeu. Barca have taken the lead and the challenges, let's just say they're getting a little bit more intense. That was an opportunity there for Luis Suarez, but into the side netting. Real Madrid have the ball in midfield with Modric. Out it goes to Kraus. Outside him is Marcelo. Marcelo closed down by Paulinho. Plays it back to Kovacic. Inside to Modric. Now out to the far side. It's a poor ball though from Luka Modric. And he'll run out for a throw in line with the edge of the Barcelona penalty area. No surprise there. Isco and Asensio alongside Gareth Bale. Warming up. Well, in theory, who would be the favourite to start? Asensio, of course, made a big name for himself in the Super Cup in August. Isco is destined to be the new Iniesta for Spain, you would imagine, but Gareth Bale is Gareth Bale. So who do you bring on if you're Zidane? At the moment, it's Real Madrid attacking on the right-hand side, a throw-in in line with the penalty spot. Modric 
Modric into the area, repelled by Croatian teammate Rakitic. As Ramos is too keen to get the ball, Luis Suarez rolls over and over. There was maybe a f an elbow up from Ramos, and it's enough to get him a yellow card. So, 58 minutes gone. And Ramos, of course, with a yellow, there's always a danger. You'll see another. Let's have a look. Luis Suarez. Well, Ramos can have no complaint there. Arm across from Ramos, well spotted by Sanchez Martinez. And uh, also, Ramos goes up to complain, hands up. The referee immediately saying, take those hands down. As I said, very, very firm refereeing from uh, Sanchez Martinez this afternoon. Certainly keeping the check on players and had a good view of the armor cross by Ramos. It was certainly a yellow. And uh, a yellow in a bit, maybe. I think Luis Suarez is okay. He's being treated, obviously. You're 1-0 up. Maybe not in uh, the biggest of hurries, the team that have taken the lead. And uh, looks like Zidane might do a double substitution. Two forwards, Asensio and Bale. Now, who goes off? Benzema has got to be one of them, I would have thought. It's not really... Uh, he did have the header across the post, but uh, who do you take off? Benzema and um, maybe one of the defensive midfielders. But it's a danger if you take... You're not going to take Casemiro off. Uh, Kovacic, maybe. But he's uh, been keeping an eye on Leo Messi. So interesting decision for Zidane to make as uh, Barcelona have the ball. Leo Messi brought down in midfield. It'll be a free kick to FCB on the hour mark. It's Real Madrid nil, Barcelona one. It's Casemiro just tripping Messi. Marcelo made sure that he was going down. As we look again at the goal, Rakitic made the run. And uh, if I was a Real Madrid fan, I would be a little bit disappointed with Carvajal not putting more into the tracking back as Barca move it to the edge of the area, inside the area. Varane will play it back to Keylor Navas. Navas out towards Modric, flicks it on, but only to Vermelen. Vermelen gives it to Jordi Alba. Alba plays a decent ball to Paulinho. Leo Messi making the run, may have been offside. Paulinho hangs on to the ball, gives it to a supporting Roberto. Sergio Roberto now back to Gerard Piquet. Piquet to Vermelen. That's Jordi Alba. The Olay starting now from the Barca fans. That'll be annoying. Suarez won the ball back. Plays it, it's picked up on the edge of the area. Paulinho shoots. Oh, it's a tame effort in the end. Too easy there for Keylor Navas. He gives it to Marcelo. As Real Madrid struggling to bring the ball away. Leo Messi wins it unfairly. So says the referee. Free kick. Quickly taken. Now Casemiro goes down, but Busquets got the ball fairly. Barca have won it back. Neither team holding on to the ball for long. Lovely ball forward by Messi. Luis Suarez. Oh, it's a save by Navas. He's recovered it, though. Now gives it to Messi. Messi to Suarez. Off the inside of the post. It's off. Paulino, it's in the net. It's offside. It's offside. Or is it a handball? Oh, it's a red card. For Carvajal. Carvajal. Maybe got a hand to it. And it's a, well, it's a penalty red card, I think. Carvajal's shaking his head. Carvajal is off, and it's a penalty to Barcelona. Let's have a look. It was wobbling and bouncing around so much. The ball saved by Navis. Then Messi shot, gave it to Suarez, came off the inside of the post. Oh, and it was a straightforward goalkeeping save by Carvajal. And that ball was going into the back of the net of the header of Paulinho. The referee had no choice. And Carvajal had no complaints about the red card. So Real Madrid down to 10. Leo Messi missed a penalty last weekend. Will he score now? 
Leo Messi steps up, it's in the net from Leo Messi. 15 goals for the world's number one. Real Madrid go 2-0 down to Barcelona. Is that the 2017-18 season title in Barcelona's pocket? Some Barca fans would say it is. Real Madrid down to 10 just when they were looking to make some attacking substitutions. Well, I'm not sure how you figure this one out now, Mr Zidane. It really is going to be difficult. Well, um, three men at the back, I suppose. Varane, Ramos and Marcelo. And the thing is, Carvajal handballed it, but Marcelo might just have cleared that ball off the line. He was behind the Spanish fullback. But Leo Messi celebrating in front of the goal, arms aloft. And uh, Valverde knows the importance of that goal. Well, I think Zidane's had to make a change in terms of uh, substitutions. And what was I thinking? He's not going to go to three at the back. Nacho will come on. So they're going to have to sacrifice somebody. And the fans are not happy. Benzema is the player who goes off. And that was not the substitution Zidane had in mind. But understandable as well. Obviously, Real Madrid don't want to lose, but Zidane knows what the psychological impact might be of a heavy defeat here to Barcelona. So, Real Madrid reduced to a 4-4-1 formation. And, uh, well... Barcelona starting the second half brightly, have the two goals to show in the opening 20 minutes. Kovacic combining with Ronaldo. Back to Kovacic. Looks to play it into the area. Cut out by PK. They were looking for an optimistic handball penalty there as Paulinho closed down in midfield. Gives it to Busquets. Busquets out to Sergio Roberto. Cruz gets a foot in, not a fair one, says the referee. It'll be a free kick to Barcelona. And there will be a double substitution after all. Um, still, Zidane feels obliged to bring on two forwards, Bale and Asensio. No chance for Isco to dazzle us this afternoon then. So who do you bring off? Well, I imagine Modric and Kraus, I would have thought leaving Kosovic and uh, Casemiro in midfield, or maybe Kovacic will be the player coming off. Can't see Casemiro coming off somehow. We shall see. The two subs warming up, ready to come on. Barca in possession with Busquets. Busquets out to Sergio Roberto. Forward now to Paulinho. Back to Roberto. Roberto to Gerard Piquet. Forward to Busquets. Milen now for Barca. One twos with Sergio Roberto. And the Olays once again started up from the Barca fans. It can be quite annoying for a home team player and fan when that happens. PK to Vermelen. Out to Jordi Alba. Alba combines with Andres Iniesta. Alba into Rakitic. It's only the Barca fans you can hear singing now it's looking very grim indeed for the men in white and their faithful halfway through the second half Barcelona leading 2-0 in the Bernabeu a Barcelona undefeated this season since the Super Cup 25 games now if they come out of this without losing as Rakitic gives it to Gerard Piquet PK moving forward. How much would he like to get a goal as well? Gives it to Suarez. Continues his run then. Once again has to go back. Rakitic falling into his position. So PK will give it to Sergio Roberto. So Rakitic can now move the ball inside to Busquets. Busquets to Vermelen. Outside to Jordi Alba. Alba 
bringing it forward. Oh, he's brought down by Nacho, is he? No. A dive, says the referee. Jordi Alba and Nacho exchanging words. I thought it was a free kick. There's a good play there by Messi, winning the ball back, gives it to Paulinho. Paulinho bursting into the area. It's, it's Keylor Navas who takes it away from his feet. Marcelo then to Ramos. Ramos to Kovacic. Playing it down the middle, well read by Iniesta. Iniesta to Rakitic. Klaus falls over the body of Rakitic. It's played him forward now to Leo Messi. Messi's inside the penalty area. Oh, what a save by Navas. Picked it out with one hand as if he was a wide receiver. Stretching through the air. This was along the ground, but it was a wonderful save there by Navas. Six saves so far from the Costa Rican. Just two from Ter Stegen. There's the ball forward picked off by Jordi Alba. Alba has it for FCB. Plays it forward to Busquets. Busquets with plenty of time. To Piquet. Ball back to Sergio Busquets. Busquets forward now to Luis Suarez. Suarez to Messi. Halfway inside the Real Madrid half. Out it goes to the left to Andres Iniesta. Iniesta gives it to Jordi Alba. Back to Iniesta. Iniesta with Paulinho. Paulinho to Busquets. Rakitic to Piquet can't see any substitutions from Barcelona not really necessary and of course there is the Christmas break now Merry Christmas everyone uh, Barcelona will be back in action on the 4th of January away to Celta in the Cup the 7th of January at home in the Camp now to Levante and then the return leg with Celta on the 11th Real Madrid attacking the ball into the box, but Ronaldo is driven wide, flicks it in, cleared by Iniesta. Where will it fall? To Modric. Modric beaten to the ball, though, by Andres Iniesta. Lovely skill there from Iniesta. One-twos with Alba, and then Busquets to bring the ball out of danger. Iniesta now forward to Paulinho. Paulinho to Suarez. Suarez to Paulinho. Now looking to bring in Sergi Roberto for the ball over hit. And it'll be a throw in to FCB. Let's have a look at the substitutions. Bale will be one of them. He came back in the Club World Cup after being out since the 28th of November. Casemiro, one of the players, replaced. And Marco Asensio, the other player coming on. So Bale comes on. Kovacic will move inside, you would have thought. And 2-0 the scoreline. There was a scuffle off the ball there which we missed but the play continues long ball forward by Real Madrid looking for the run by Asensio and it runs out of play so Barcelona leading two goals thanks to Leo Messi and Luis Suarez really is uh, an important Potentially important victory. Kovacic was the other player off, by the way. Kovacic and Benzema have been replaced. So we have a, a lineup of Nacho, Varane, Ramos, and Marcelo protecting Keylor Navas in midfield. Modric, Casemiro, Kroos, and uh, sorry, I'm not Casemiro, Bale, of course. So it's Modric, Bale, Kroos, and Asensio further forward. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cross on the ball now. There's Barca moving out to Bale. First touch on the right-hand side. Bale inside to Cross. 
now out to the left and Marcelo, Real Madrid will feel if they can get something back now. Asensio plays into box, comes off Sergio Roberto. Bale, incensed, feels that it should have been a penalty. Uh, nobody really backing him up, I don't think, though. So uh, I have my doubts as uh, the ball headed out to Andres Iniesta. Barca uh, slow things down in the middle of the park now with us, with Paulinho. Paulinho with Pique. Sensio chasing, but Barca are basically triangling him. Sensio to ground. Ball goes back to Pique. Pique to Testegan. Testegan out to Rakitic. Forward to Busquets. Busquets back to Gerard Pique. Testegan. And Real Madrid will have to come get it. Testegan one twos with Rakitic. And we'll do likewise with Gerard Piquet. Piquet lifts the ball forward to Paulinho. Marcelo reads it well though. Marcelo one twos with Kraus. Now looks to play it out to Asensio. Busquets gets a foot in though. Testegan to Busquets, to Piquet. Oh, and that was almost read by Kraus. A little bit casual there, Busquets and Piquet, but uh, Kraus's ball picked up by Ter Stegen. Yeah, well, you just can't give a penalty for that, I don't think. Sergio Roberto, he did hit his arm, but he's got his arms behind his back, holding one hand in the other, and um, what more can you do, really, as uh, Varane goes to ground? Leo Messi penalised, it'll be a free kick. Messi appeals, but Semedo will be coming on for Barcelona. Well, there was a minimum of contact there between Messi and uh, Varane, maybe free kick, but like I say, the lightest of touches. So will it be Sergio Roberto then? It's actually Andres Iniesta coming off. So Iniesta will give the captain's armband to Leo Messi. Iniesta, who's normally applauded off in most stadiums, the exceptions being San Mamés and Bernabeu for historic reasons, but still some applause, which uh, Andres Iniesta acknowledges. And I just think this makes it even tougher for Real Madrid because now you have Semedo at right back and you have in midfield Paulinho, Sergi Roberto, Rakitic and Busquets. That, that's just, that's a tough midfield quartet to be able to get any change out of. We're into the last quarter of an hour here in the Bernabeu. It's Real Madrid nil, Barcelona two. Luis Suarez after 54 minutes. Leo Messi with a 64th minute penalty after Carvajal saved the ball almost on the line with his hand. Semedo with his first touch, flicks it forward. Marcelo on the end of a Sergio Ramos head and lets the ball go out, comes off Rakitic. It'll be a throw in to the men in white. The ball goes to Ramos. Inside to Varane. Ramos. Flicks it forward. Oh, it's not the best of headers. Semedo lets in Asensio. Asensio, Ooh, and a good saved by Vermeulen. That ball was looking for Ronaldo, the corner taken quickly. Marcelo into the area, Ronaldo can't head it back because Alba's there. Modric lets it run, he's got the ball on the edge of the area. Modric driving towards the byline, comes in, oh, Bill! Stopped by Ter Stegen. And Barca bring the ball forward, that was a good save, the best save of the afternoon from Ter Stegen. Barca then with Busquets playing it forward to Leo Messi. Messi almost gets around. And he's thwarted on the edge of the area. Asensio then with the ball. Marco Asensio has Bale to his right. It's Bale then in possession. Ronaldo waits in the middle. Of course, Real Madrid with one body less. Modric, one twos with Bale. Bale looks up, you can see Ronaldo tightly marked by Semedo and Piquet, so he gives it to Marcelo. Marcelo plays it into the box, oh, Ronaldo couldn't control it, 
and Vermelen brings it away, but he's blocked by Nacho. Modric recovers the ball as Swanif looked to do something with it. Now the ball out to the right hand side. Gareth Bale on the ball for the men in white. Marcelo wants it. The shot is spilled by Ter Stegen, but recovers well as Marcelo was looking to take advantage of the little tip there by the Barca goalkeeper. Ter Stegen has looked solid this afternoon. Not been called on to do too much. What he's done, he's done well. As Barca have the ball now with Piquet. Piquet flicks it out to the right hand side to Semedo. Semedo has the run from Sergio Roberto. Roberto back inside, Semedo fed by Messi. Semedo inside the penalty area, shoots, oh, just wide. And it took a deflection off the keeper, so it'll be a corner for Barcelona. On the left-hand side as we look at goal. Good run into the area from Nelson Semedo, came off the foot of the keeper. Bale have done better with the shot, maybe, but that's not taking anything away from the save by Ter Stegen. So corner to Barcelona, they're fourth of the game. Swung in and Piquet unable to get there. Ronaldo with the head of the way, picked up by the red and blues though. Busquets to Semedo. Semedo one twos with Sergi Roberto. Back to Ter Stegen. Ter Stegen then will wait because uh, Barcelona leading 2 0, and there's just under 10 minutes to go in the Bernabeu. Piquet has it for FCB. Side to Rakitic. Forward now to Sergio Roberto, enjoying a, a roll further upfield, no doubt. Gives it out to Jordi Alba. Alba to Leo Messi. Messi, the captain, on the ball now. Drops it to Paulinho. But Barca lose possession midfield. Bale. Good sliding challenge from Busquets. Bale. Recovers the ball, gives it to Modric. Modric supported by Sergio Ramos. Out it goes to the left to Marco Asensio. Now Marcelo. Marcelo into the area. It'll come off for a corner. Off Semedo. So it'll be a corner to Real Madrid. Quickly taken. Asensio into the area. Kraus comes to Ooh, Ramos. And another save from Ter Stegen, they're looking for a handball and penalty, but the big news here is Ramos almost pulled one back, but Ter Stegen with a great hand, out it goes for a corner, it'll be a yellow card for Marcelo, oh, and Marcelo gets the yellow card, then touches the arm of the referee, risking a second yellow, he's not going to drop the conversation, I wouldn't, carry on, young man, corner, Played in, flicked on, headed away by Piquet, Asensio. Drops off for Modric, Modric into the area, the ball across the six. Sergio Ramos almost on the end of it, wouldn't have counted anyway. There's an offside flag against Ramos as he tried to reach the ball from Ronaldo. Ramos clearly offside, so it'll be a free kick to FCB. Time running out for the men in white. As it stands at the moment, Barcelona on 45 points. 14 victories, just three draws. What a dynamic start to the season from Barcelona. This victory would put them nine points ahead of Atletico Madrid. Nine, no, 11 points ahead, sorry, of Valencia. And 14 points ahead of the men in white. Paulinho has been substituted by Andre Gomez coming on for Barcelona. 
minute 83 in the Bernabeu. And again, Barcelona looking very solid in midfield. Plenty of ball winning figures. As Modric has it for Real Madrid. Closed down by Leo Messi. Messi down the left hand side to Andre Gomez. Gomez will play it back to the world's number one. Messi now gives it to Busquets. Busquets to Vermelen. Vermelen Piquet. Piquet will play it forward to Sergio Roberto. Roberto Rakitic. Go back to Piquet. Bars have it now with Sergio Roberto to Leo Messi. Suarez outside him, Suarez inside the penalty area. Still Suarez, Suarez shoots. Oh, and it's a corner. The ball coming off a defender. It wasn't actually Suarez, sorry. It was Andre Gomez on the left hand side. Got the shot off. And Barcelona not only leading 2 0, but looking the closer to getting the next goal as well. Ramos with a fine effort. It'll be a corner. To FCB. Played short by Rakitic to Busquets. Busquets to Rakitic. Rakitic inside the penalty area. And unable to get around Bale. Modric picks it up for the home team. Forward to Kraus. To play back to Varane. Well, Madrid struggling to get forward here. And the ball forward, a hopeless one. Test again to Piquet. It's awesome moving down the middle. To Rakitic. And Sergio Roberto combining with Luis Suarez. Busquets. And to the left hand side, Jordi Alba to Leo Messi on the edge of the D. Messi, still Messi, still Messi, still Messi, chips it in, comes off a defender, looking to set up Luis Suarez, and it'll be another corner to FCB. On the left-hand side as we look at goal, Valverde surely inside, already celebrating this one. Eighty-six minutes gone. A rather unhappy looking Cristiano Ronaldo back to help out to defend this Barca corner. Rakitic to take. Swings it in and headed away by Ronaldo. Messi shoots and Navas is able to pick it up at the second attempt. So Navas with the ball, he'll pump this forward as they look for what surely would be just a consolation goal, if anything at all. And uh, Modric now out to Gareth Bale. Bale forward. Back to Modric. Now Kraus, Real Madrid. Have new Mancia in the Kings Cup. And Celta in between. Poor Celta have to play Barca twice and Real Madrid all in the space of 10 days. Oh, Busquets will pick up a yellow card there. And uh, Busquets kicks out of Marcelo. No real need for that, but uh, Busquets will miss the next game. Uh, they didn't really need to do that, but as I said, Busquets now misses the next game. As we go into the last two minutes in the Bernabeu, can Real Madrid score here, maybe give us a bit more emotion as far as they're concerned in the last minutes? Bounce with the free kick. It's out to the left hand side of the penalty area. So he swung in looking for a white head. It comes off. 
Pogba ran onto the head of Ramos, out for a goal kick. That was all rather an anti-climax as uh, Zidane unable to find a way to beat this Barcelona team as they did, of course, in August. But uh, it's really all changed since August. Pre-season in those two games, Real Madrid really looked like they were going to be the team to watch this season. But as we know, it's been a, a league dominated by Barcelona. Atletico Madrid, the only other team undefeated, lost that record last night in Cornea, rather surprisingly. So Barcelona, the only team who have not been defeated so far this season in league or Champions or Cup indeed. So there'll be another substitution as we approach the 90-minute mark. Uh, Vidal, I imagine, will come on for Sergio Roberto. As Semedo has a throw-in to take for FCB. Gives it to Roberto. Back to Semedo. Roberto can't get there as Kraus gets there first. Gives it to Modric. Modric gets away from a triangle of players. Gives it to Ramos. Ramos forward to... Modric, Modric out to Marcelo, forward to Asensio. Asensio robbed of the ball by Semedo. Uh, wins it back, but pass of a cover. Roberto now has it. Brings it away, plays it inside. Gomez, Gomez back to Vermelen. Marcelo hobbling away, but Real Madrid have no more substitutions. Ball forward, headed straight to Luis Suarez. Suarez gets it to Leo Messi. Messi out to Gomez. Gomez inside the area. Tried to get over the keeper, he did, but also over the crossbar. We are over the 90-minute mark into the three minutes added on by the referee. And there'll be another substitution by Barcelona. Gomez then with an opportunity to make it three. The scoreline is Real Madrid nil, Barcelona two. As Vidal will come on. Suarez really in fine goal scoring form in recent weeks. As the substitution is predictable one, Sergio Roberto indeed player replaced by Vidal. Messi then gives it to PK and PK to Vidal. Vidal with a chance to cut it back and unable to do so. It comes off for Ran. It'll be a corner to Barcelona. 91 and a half minutes gone. Can Barcelona add a third to make it not a good start to the Christmas holidays for Real Madrid and their fans? A wonderful start, of course, for the Barca fans. So, a corner as we approach the last minute of the three added on to the 90. And it's Barcelona still the team threatening to get the next goal in this game. It's a corner on the right hand side. Rakitic plays it short to Leo Messi. Goes back to Busquets. Busquets to Leo Messi. Ball, did it go out of play? No, it didn't. Leo Messi receives on the edge of the area. Cuts inside. Looks to cut it back. And it could still be a third. It is. And would you believe it? It's Alesh Vidal who gets it. And it's 3-0 to Barcelona. Is that the league title? Some fans surely would say so. Well, what a wonderful afternoon for Valverde. Vidal brought on, I was thinking two minutes ago when he was brought on by Valverde, I thought, well, why are you bringing on Alesh Vidal? Well, there's the answer for you. He brought him on so he could make it 3-0 to Barcelona. Leo Messi combining with Vidal. And it's a scoreline. Well, the ball had gone out of play there. I can see why some of the fans were a little bit upset in the build-up. Should have been the throw into Real Madrid. Play was allowed to continue. Leo Messi got to the byline. The cutback was perfect. And Vidal shot. Keylor Navas almost stopped it, but the ball ran 
past him into the back of the net. It's wonderful scoreline for Barcelona. They've really shown who's top of the table and why they're top of the table. 14 point lead then for Barcelona as we go into Christmas. There's the final whistle. Goals this afternoon from Luis Suarez, Leo Messi, and Alex Vidal. A final scoreline in week 17 then. Good performance by uh, Sanchez Martin, if I feel uh, the referee. A final scoreline of Barcelona, three. Real Madrid, nil. Merry Christmas to you all. And that's all for now, folks. Ah.